What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ian Explains. This week, we're talking about what happens when your family's getting ready to go out of town for Christmas and they leave you behind. That's right, we're talking about Home Alone. So, whole movie is pretty much just one big sum up of how terrible Macaulay Culkin's parents are. Like, they get upset because his older brother's being a tool about some sort of cheese pizza and he spills some milk on the tickets and they're like, hey, that's it, you're done. We're gonna, we're gonna reverse Harry Potter you were gonna put you in the attic and he's like okay fine I guess whatever next morning everybody oversleeps because of some weird power outage and they're like oh no we gotta get on the plane they're not gonna make the plane but the kids left home alone he's just trying to survive and do kid things he's like wait I don't have parents he runs around eats a bunch of candy has a weird run-in with his neighbor by the time that anybody notices that he's gone they're already in Paris because that's where they were going for Christmas so that's strike one against the parents right there like come on how do you get I, there has to be connecting flights you don't stop at your at your layover and go how many kids do we got you're you're done so the mom freaks out she's trying to find a way to get back to the states to make sure that Macaulay Culkin is okay and this whole time he's been at home almost literally fist fighting Joe Pesci and some other guy to keep them out of the house because all they're trying to do is steal their stuff I mean like it's not that big a deal steal your stuff flood your house you know it's just two insurance claims that you have to file it's not that big a deal what we learn from this is that Macaulay Culkin is gonna have some sort he's gonna grow up to go to college for some sort of engineering degree just from all the crazy traps that he comes up with. Uh, swinging, swinging pendulum paint can, shooting a dude just straight in the wiener through a doggy door at a weird angle with a BB gun. That's some ingenuity. Building a zip line, that was cool. Anyway, what I'm amazed about here is that never once did he even just think to like call the cops. Hey, police, somebody's trying to break into my house. Help, please. And by the time that his mom actually gets back to the country, everything looks like it was fine nothing really happens they're like oh my god we're so glad you're okay and everybody hangs out and has a great christmas because everybody had to come back to the states and then they had christmas nobody was like all right maybe maybe leave paris to come back to this house blah, blah, blah. sure you're rich and it's a cool house but like if i was going to paris and somebody made me come back i'd be a little bit upset i'm not gonna lie so moral of the story is don't be a tool bag and spill milk on tickets and if you're gonna set an alarm to be at the airport on time make sure you set at least two Nobody wants to be rushing around in the morning. That's just a bad way to start your day. Anyway, that's been Ian Explains Home Alone. So please like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do next week. And I will see y'all later.